And there's a lovely Bible verse that says, perfect love throws fear aside. So every single time I am afraid, I am no longer in love. So how many of you as, as parents have said to your child as they walk out the door, be careful. Right? In that particular moment, you were not loving. Can you see why? Because that desire to say to the person, to a person, any person, be careful, came from a soul condition within yourself of being afraid of what's going to happen if they're not careful. And it also doesn't trust the law of attraction. Does that make sense? Because the law of attraction actually is that uh, we will attract what we need to work through soul injuries, right? So if I'm saying to a person, just saying to a person, be careful, the actual saying of it is actually coming from a fearful place and that's coming from an unloving space. Can you see how fear is the opposite? It's not the opposite of love, but it's the opposite of truth. If I stay in truth, then I won't be afraid. If I understand the truth at the soul level, I will never be afraid. So I would never actually say to someone, please be careful. Because they don't need to be careful. I would say to someone, uh, you're aware, are you, that you've got this emotional injury that could cause this law of attraction? <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the same. That's being truthful. A bit louder, a bit closer. Take care, I equate with um, like God be with you in the oldest language, like God be with you. Yep. So this is a question, taking care of how this virtual heart of the soul is conducting itself. Yeah, that's a beautiful that's, thing to say for something. Yeah, take care of God be with you. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is. Yeah. So again, it gets back to your intention, yeah. doesn't it? So if I'm, I'm saying, if, if your intention now is that you want to be, make the person be careful, then you are actually being afraid for them. And then it's coming from a, an unloving intention. But if your intention is to say, take care of your soul, that's a beautiful thing to say to somebody. Which of course, it'd be great if they did. Yeah. And that's a loving thing to say. And your intention is understanding things at the soul level. So that's totally different. 